Welcome back to Oxenfree. Well, we've just tried to save Clarissa. Now it's time to try to save Ren. Uh, I wonder if we should try to go to the bridge. Yeah, let's try to go to the bridge first. See if that's maybe magically opened up, although I doubt it. Yeah, the bridge up there is still closed. Still think we gotta go the long way. Through Epiphany Fields, and then from there, I think we gotta go through a lot of places to get to Relay Point. Uh, let's see... Okay, so up and to the left, to Towie Woods. I, um, didn't realize just how much woods there were. This is like a, like a genuine forest. It's like tree- Yeah, it's like, what, 20 square miles or something? It's like half the island. Yeah, I thought it was just gonna be a park or something. There is a park, but it's part of the woods. But I just want to make sure, you know, that we know where we're going. We do know where we're going, right? Um... Vaguely. You know, this whole place really creepily reminds me of a park, or woods, I guess, near where I used to live. It's really kind of felt just like this. It's weird. Oh yeah? What was that one called? Peabody, I think. I'm trying to remember the sign, but like half the letters had fallen off so it spelled P-Pork. My dad was really happy to move here, you know? He said the schools were safer, less knifings per capita. I guess he never considered the danger of whatever's happening right now. But, you know, everything's got something. No offense, but your town sounds like the worst place on Earth. Well, it's not like your town. I'll put it that way. It'd be a lovely place to just sit on this log and look at the fog. Love all the nature sounds. This thing's so weird looking. Apparently it's 400 years old. There's a cafe in town named after it. And next on the tour of Edwards Island, an old bush. Well, I think this stuff is interesting. It's four centuries old. You're not impressed by that? It's a tree, so not really, no. I think this is one of those uh, listen in for the tour guide things. Stationed at Fort Milner, Colonel Tim Russell would frequently wander the woods west of his barracks and sketch the wildlife he'd encounter on his walks. After the fort closed in 1974, he led a petition to make the land federally protected, and in 1988, he succeeded. Now, Edwards Forest is an internationally recognized wildlife refuge and bird sanctuary, home to 120 bird species, most notably the white-tailed tohi, a large sparrow indigenous to only this island. The roosting tree that stands before you is a 400-year-old red alder, famous since its discovery in 1655 when Franciscan friars noted that its unusually twisted trunk is bent true north. When he was stationed at Fort Milner, Colonel... Oh. Oh yeah, so it's, it's not Towie Woods, it's Tohi. I actually used to see Tohis all the time, although I think they must have been a different species, because their description of the, the Tohi sounded different than the one I remember. The ones I'm thinking of are kind of brown? I don't think they had any white to them. Hmm. 
Okay, making good progress. Looks like... Hmm. Actually, I don't know how we are going to get from this area to a relay point. Because I don't see any actual road there from here. So maybe there's just a pathway through the woods that we can't see or something? I can only hope. It does look like there's another building far above us in this area at Bridge Stand. I don't know what that's about. And then there's also the campgrounds to our left. This is huge. Um, why is there a cable car here? Couldn't they have just made like, just like a normal bridge with wood and slats? Yeah, it's kind of neat, right? It's like going on a gondola ride. I don't know if I'd say it's neat. It looks less than welcoming. Or at least it doesn't look very inviting. Or even on. Maybe there's another way. There has to be. I mean, it's the woods. There's no way to begin with. We make our own. Well, yeah, Jonas, except for when there's a chasm. All right, well, let's just see if we gotta take the, um, conveyor thing. Power Transfer Station 167. Okay, that's a little strange. Why wouldn't they lock it? I mean, somebody should have locked it, right? Um, uh, maybe there's no need? Like there's nothing here to steal or something? All right, I'll go with that just because... What else am I going to do? Looks like a cozy little place. Being terrorized on an island by unseen forces really makes you miss television. Well, maybe if we get the power working, you can catch up on the soaps. I found the circuit breaker. Wait, like the first thing it says is beware of overload. Do not attempt restart without supervision. Um, so I don't know. Terrific, you'll be my supervisor. Supervisor Jonas. So what does it say to do? Just let me do it. That way, if something bad happens... Please, I can handle pulling two switches. I really just don't like... I can't think of a way to delicately put this, but... You know what? Fine, it's your barbecue. Uh, what did you flip? Because it kind of did the opposite of what we wanted. I flipped the... It's the only one, Jonas. What other switch could I even flip? Oh, good point. The lamp's flickering. Do you think it's like on backup power now or something? It sounds like it's emitting some weird noise too, right? Yeah, a little. For some reason it reminds me of the cave. It's... I can't believe this. It's locked now. It's okay, we'll just... There's gotta be a way to turn the power on still. That's... that's... God, I haven't heard this in forever. This is something my mom used to... Ah. I am so tired of this funhouse bullcrap. Was that there before? No. I don't think so. Alex, are you all right? It's uh, just a chair, so... Well, it's making me feel like bugs are on my skin. So, come on, let's go. Hmm, so the cable car goes over to the campgrounds. Which means it's most likely what we had to do to get to Relay Point, I'm guessing. So going over to the left I think is where we're supposed to go, so let's go up and see what's up there.
Oh, there's a little cairn up there. Like what we saw at the, the cave, where we use the radio every one of those. I wonder if I can do it here. Oh yeah. Yep. Box six. Well, how do you know you're Bobby Dunbar? I know who I am, and I know who you are. And nothing else makes a difference. Box six. Well, how do you... The heck was that? Bobby Dunbar. Over the horizon, a radar system used to detect targets at extreme distances. It was also the first check of the call and response method. If a missile strike or airborne invasion was identified, a call would be sent from this station and, if the signal was found to be accurate, would trigger automatic safety measures and the evacuation of non-personnel. The Catbird station was built to detect any enemy attempting a strike from the air. When operational, it was fully outfitted with an SCR-271 antenna and an early version of OTH, which stands for Over the Horizon, a radar system used to detect targets. Catbird station? That's a name I can get behind. It says it's the, I don't know, Catbird Station? And the call sign is weird, 60.8? The dial doesn't go that far. Huh. Hmm. <laughs> maybe, maybe later we find a different radio that can go that far? Maybe we get a radio upgrade? Okay. Now there's two ways to go, across the rickety bridge, or down here. Maybe they'll both take us to the same place. Oh, there's another cairn. Interesting. It's a mix of a couple things. One is just what sounds like uh, some normal radio broadcast, just people talking. But preceding that is a totally different voice that sounds like, uh, I don't know, a code or a call sign or something. Like this one said, what did it say, EZ3? Anything, or expose it with charity. Right at the very the beginning? The shall discuss it prudently. Yeah, it sounds like EZ3. Oh, check out the smallest cemetery in the Pacific Northwest. Literally, it's from the 1800s. Jesus, I thought that was a pet cemetery. I'm kind of relieved this island's depressing enough. <sighs> what a night, huh? <sighs> what a night. Um, what does that mean? You said it first. I'm just saying, this this isn't anybody's fault, you know. It just happened. Stuff ha Yeah, you're right. Stuff happens. It just sucks that we'll be all the right. stuff that's happening is, like, really terrifying and annoying. Humming like a barracuda. Barracudas don't hum. Well, this one is. 
Praise the Lord. Well, when you look at that, it didn't collapse. That's one good thing that happened tonight. Yep. Yay. You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like. Yeah. With my brother. With Michael? Yeah? Like, with your mom and dad, or...? Sometimes mom and dad, but mostly just him and me. Oh, well, that's cool. Like he's, like he'd be babysitting you and he'd bring you out here? That's nice of him. He could have just stayed home, you know? It wasn't like that. We were, like, best friends. It's not like he was being forced to do it. He wanted to do it. We liked hanging out together. Oh, uh, I mean, I didn't mean... Yeah, yeah, of course. Some people camp here, but it's weird. I, I don't know why they just leave their tent. Looks kind of dumpy. Like, I don't know, like it's been abandoned. Yeah, I can see this place being cool, like in the summer, or even in the spring. You got the park, you got the main street shops. Yeah, well, after tonight, douse it in gasoline and... You used to come here a lot as a kid. Uh, right? another to loop. The island. I mean, I mean, that's what rent... Uh, do you ever get deja vu? I feel like... Like, didn't we just walk through here? Huh. That's funny, I, I don't think we have. Okay, yeah, tonight's like being trapped in a nightmare zoo, but I don't know, you have memories here. The fire like, wasn't burning jumping before. Jumping off the diving board with little Janie and eating... Wait, wasn't this... We passed this a minute ago, right? And it wasn't burning? I, um, honestly don't remember. So anyways, I'm just saying, this place had its good moments. So don't let tonight wreck that for you. Well, it is wrecked, Jonas. Sorry, island, but you can't repeatedly scare- You used to come here a lot as a kid, right? To the island. I mean, I mean, that's what Ren made it sound like. We have definitely been here before. This is weird. What's weird? Cause I don't remember any of this. We're... I think we're going in circles. We've seen these same damn trees, like, I don't know how many times now. We just got off- This is, uh, new. Ah, oh, it's... Kind of weird. I had the exact same kind when I was a kid. Yeah, why would a toy company make two, right? Oh, love the jokes. Keep it up. See what happens. You used to... Wait. Haven't we done this before? We're going in circles or something. Oh, now you're getting it. Only took 300 go-rounds on the never-ending cycle of whatever we're stuck in. Well, sorry. I mean... Wait, really? I don't remember that. But okay. Oh, the ball, um, moved? That was weird. Par for the course, really. Take that, ball. Um... Who's there? So, it's just... That's strange. I'm taking a picture of the ball moving, not your kicking, just so you know. Hmm. All right, who are you? All right, who are you? Maybe don't antagonize whoever. Okay. What's gonna be on that picture? Oh, yeah. Yeah, all right. I think they have a sense of humor. Oh, what's that? Don't want to play anymore? <laughs> oh my god. Alex, can you believe this? <sighs> my doctor's not going to be happy with my blood pressure this year. Yeah, mine neither. What? Where's Jonas? Okay, this is this is gonna be fine. Just work through it. Whoa. 
Whoa, wait, what? What's happening? Tell Michael to break up with Clarissa. It's for the best. But Michael's dead. How could I even... Wait, wait. We've done this before. Okay. Uh, there's got to be a way out, or... <sighs> it's all right. We must have just missed, um, something. I, um, it was weird. You were gone for a minute. I did this... I did the repeat thing again, and my reflection talked to me. Talked to you? What, uh, what did it say? Or was it, like, anything you could even... It said that I should tell Michael to break up with Clarissa. Which is, of course, totally useless advice for a doppelganger, since Michael's still totally dead. You know, at some point, this is all gonna make sense. I just hope it happens before we leave. Huh, this look... It's, like, super old, but... Man, it's almost spotless. It's one of those, um, magnetophones, I think they're called. Or some other reel-to-reel -reel thing from the 40s. Why would it be here? You know, I didn't realize I felt like a pressure in my head until right now. Maybe doing that fixed the loop. But whatever you did helped something, I think. Really? It is? I think. Let's just keep going and get Ren. So... Ghosts, huh? <sighs> ghosts... What do you think they want? The, uh... The ghosts. I don't know. I just hope they want to, like, play soccer every once in a while, and that's it. good signal all the way up here. BTPA? That isn't... It'd have to be an acronym, if, if anything. Because, yeah, those words, I'm pretty sure those are... Uh, I don't know what you call it when you say a full word to indicate just a single letter, to make it easier to understand. You know, Arizona to indicate A. But I'm pretty sure that's what that was. Oh! <laughs> I remember this! 
two Jacks carved their, uh, Jack Mitchell and Jack Ladd, they used to hang out together all the time. And they carved their names into this bench on a school trip once. You don't care, do you? No, please, keep going. Okay, on another school trip, they- Stop. <laughs> uh. Is that Nona? Don't, don't, okay? Just don't move, okay? Don't come anywhere near me. No, no. Just don't move. What is it? What's wrong? This night has turned banana bread really fast. And I'm seeing things and forgetting things. And I bumped into you once already. And it was horrible. So we're going to take it a little slower. What are you talking about? Back at the beach? I'm talking about the Alex I saw at the pier. After the cave looked like the freaking 4th of July, and I lost track of everybody. Nona, believe me, that wasn't us. I don't know that yet. So, just look. You're not gonna talk about my grandfather. You're just gonna stand there, politely, and tell me if you've seen Clarissa. Cuz I've been looking. Clarissa's No, at no, we haven't. But we, uh, we're actually, we're looking for Ren right now. So, have you, have you maybe seen him? No, not Ren. Okay, well... Hey, listen, Nona. You should come with us. That way we're not all, you know, separated. I'm not going anywhere with you. All right, okay. Hey, I get it, I do. I'm jumpy right now, too, but... Just hold up a second, Nona, okay? Yeah, can you just do us a favor? Can you just... Can you go to the comm tower and wait for us? We got the lights on there, and... It seems pretty safe. Yeah, that's actually... That's a good idea. Go to the comm tower and just sit tight till we get back. And the comm tower is... where? It's the cloud buster at the edge of town. Can't miss it. And you. You're really you? Really? Yeah, Nona, it's me. Alex. Alright, bye. That girl's a peach. Well, we've arrived at Relay Point. I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.